Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly reading session for you Sagittarius. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. Before I start guys, I really want to thank you guys for your love, for your support, and for everything that you do in my channel. Thank you. Thanks for coming back. For my subscribers, thank you, thank you so much. For guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please click subscribe. Please click the bell if you're interested, if you're keen, all right? This is for the Sagittarius friends. What can I get for Sag? What is the message for Sag for this weekly July 13th to 20th? Okay, here you go. All right, so let's start your reading. All right, so in today's reading, I'm going to be looking at the past situation for you, your overall energy, your person or the other person's energy, the blockages between the two of you, the mutual energy between the two of you, and then I'll get another two to three cards to close off the reading and to get an advice and the predictive outcome, okay? If this is going to be extended, I'll let you know. I'll put I'll put the link down the description box below, okay? So let's start the reading, Sagittarius. Okay, here you go. Um, so um, let's look at the situation in the past or the past energy. Um, you've got here the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Wands. It seems to be overwhelming, okay? Because this is emotion and passion. And the way things were moving was quite fast, okay because the knight of wands this is a bit an on and off energy but it looks very decisive but the direction of things how it went ahead was a bit fluctuating it was kind of on and off i really feel like a sincerity to you to your person to your situation it just probably along the way something happened that it overwhelmed you it overwhelmed them or both of you that um someone need to make choice okay and the choice was to lay low um to be distance or to um to take it to take it slow to take things into um i'm seeing a break um a pedal break some sort of taking a break possibly but because because you've got here the seven of cups seven of cups is about choices and um if you force to make a choice in under a seven cup seven of cups energy it's not gonna be the best choice so i think what you did in spite of you or this person love each other or like each other someone need to take a pause because it's overwhelming you know from overwhelming and then the knight of wands so will i make a choice will i stay i'm a bit confused i have this and that and priority and you and them clashing there's also some trust issues and inconsistent inconsistency here so you put it in the mix so it all you know it all went to okay let's take a break okay i'm not being encouraged to proceed or okay um, I love you today, but tomorrow, I don't know. It's unpredictable, okay? So there is that energy in here, okay? Um, you feel a bit lost, and so they are. But there was a sincerity. There was a great um, passion and chemistry in the past. You, you felt that. But somewhere along the line of getting to know or the relationship, um, there was a lot of confusing signals, um, mixed emotions that... Um, it, it's 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 making a point that um it's making the the connection weak and when the connection is weak because of external factors or you know consistently fighting or misunderstanding you know it, it is you know it, it would have a tower moment or it would gradually um detach you know i don't think that you have fallen apart because this person is still carrying the wands although the direction is moving forward I felt like I felt like this is what happened. So in the past situation, it was confusing. So what you did in this person was take an individual step, you know, a, a bit of separation and distance. But you both still have the passion, the chemistry that you have formulated when you were together or when you were getting to know. It is still weighing. It there's still a weight. Okay, this person is still carrying the wand the passion, the chemistry, they haven't forgotten that, okay? Although they need to protect an armor because I felt like the past situation was a bit, yeah, inconsistent. It was a bit hard to understand, hard to decode, most especially if you've got this overwhelming um, 
you know, overwhelming priority, feelings, suspicion, fighting, loving, fighting again, misunderstanding, and then patching things up together on and off, on and off. It created the seven of cups, okay? So th that is the challenge I get from the past situation, all right? And then your um, current energy is the Hierophant card in reverse. So it's possible that you and this person break up or split or um, your person is three of cups. They still look forward to seeing you, to being with you. Although I felt like um, you, you still want this person and so they are. But I guess you're kind of in the playing safe mode, Sagittarius, because... You want a marriage type, you want a long-term commitment, you want engagement, you want something really long and stable and never changing, which kind of impossible. But the changes that you went through in the past, it, it's quite a lot, okay? There's a giving up energy in here, Sagittarius, the Hierophant card in reverse. I felt like it's more of you want to park the idea of expectation okay if you're not in that energy i guess that's the advice for you is that maybe if you can't really have a resolution a permanent resolution why don't you keep each other as friends or be open to communicate and see how it how it goes because what i feel and how your person's energy speak to me the three of cups i look i look forward seeing you i still look forward dating you you know this is your person okay this is your person i look forward to your cup i look forward to spending more time to you to understand to recuperate um, to compromise to redo things that we hurt each other because you are kind of giving up or you're not in the mood to be in a romantic connection or it's possible that you want them but you're scared to commit because the hierophant card is in reverse it made you feel like it, it's it's kind of this state this tasteful for you um you know because in the past you were you have a lot of hope and expectation and then as you um as you get get to know each other things you know the reality comes along that this this is their attitude this is your attitude combining that together it, it creates you know normal stuff friction um misunderstanding but it, it's it's kind of the way the way the misunderstanding or the fight the the quarrel or the suspicion it, it's kind of in the mix that it has made you feel hierophant card in reverse scared to commit scared to trust again or i honestly feel like you still want this person but it's so hard to trust them or you're finding in your heart to I want a commitment. I want love. I want longevity. That's what I want. I want marriage. I want engagement. I want longevity. If you cannot be or you cannot display that attitude, character, then it, there's no point to being with you. So you have that in your in your energy. You know what you want. You know what you've been through. You know, after this exercise or past, you, you know what you want, definitely. Your person... Um, they pretty much want the same thing. They want a relationship for them to have a relationship, a marriage, an engagement, a long term, a longevity is we need to spend time. We need to catch up. Three of cups. They look forward seeing you, talking to you and continuing whatever it is that um, you left in the past. OK, there was a there's an energy of there's an energy in here that I would like to pick up what we left in the past. Um, so the retrograde is done. And I'm so glad because um, Mercury retrograde is done yesterday. So this is the first day that Mercury is now direct. So I really feel like a lot of um, push, um, you know, those delayed in the past, communication delay in the past. Now it's going direct. So you would have clarity. Um, you would you would see Sagittarius a more clear action, a more clear view or your plans of your person and moving forward okay so this is your current energy the blockages all right is that you want to take a rest like what i said the hierophant card in reverse you want the commitment you want love but because of this experience it kind of burnt you it made it made you distasteful it, it doesn't taste you, you're scared being hurt being backstabbed or betrayed there's something with you that you're kind of defensive you're you're defensive, you're resting your thoughts to, to your person. All the deep inside, in this armor, inside this armor, is a Sagittarius who would love to have 
you know, to have someone. It, it's so nice to have love, but I kind of feel like you want to take a rest, take a bow. <laughs> Your person, seven of pentacles, they're not giving up. In fact, they're here waiting for you, okay? Your person is waiting for you. Your person is being watchful of your move. Your person is looking at every step of what you say, what you do, because they're really wanting to see when is the right time, when will you recuperate, when will you be ready, okay? So your person is watching over you. They're keeping tabs on you. You are more on, I want to take a break, I want to take a rest. Your person is ready. You're making them wait, okay? And you... You know, it, it take your time because it's 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 your heart and your life and your emotion and your wellness and your um, mental away, mental health. You know, because for some of you, you've been this depressed for quite a while. So when they're back, you you're kind of defensive of I just got back from being okay, and you want to love me again. When you love, you're gonna be hurt, but when you love, you're gonna be happy again. So that's the cycle of love and hurt and sadness. It, it's a cycle. There would be a time that you would be happy, so happy. And then things changes, challenges come through to you or them or in combination. And then you, you know, you get hurt, but you get up, you patch things up, you love again, you kiss and make up. And then, you know, it's a whole cycle. But right now, I feel like you need to take a rest or you're thinking, you're thinking. Okay. And then in the immediate future, but predictive outcome and advice, you've got the, um, the high priest is in upright position and your person is page of cups in um, reverse. Um, you really are listening to your intuition. Okay. The high priestess is about what you really want. Okay. Ask yourself, Sagittarius, what it is that you really want. What will make you happy? Okay. Um, is the offer of this person will make you happy. If they return, will you be happy or Will you be happy if you take a break and then they return? Because uh, the page of cups is in reverse. I felt like, I felt like to be honest with you, Sagittarius, what I get from the high priestess is that you want to see more of um, of your person's effort. Okay, you want to see them show more effort, more sincerity. Because I felt like what they give to you was a three of cups, a seven of pentacles, and a page of cups. So it's not really a strong card. Although I honestly feel like your person, they give you the hint or they, they gave you a verbal or a hint that I still want you around, but you want more. <clears throat> I felt like this high priestess, um, Sagittarius, <clears throat> this is your energy. You're choosing yourself. You're choosing to accept someone who will give you a quality love um, that will lead to a long-term commitment, a longevity. You're choosing and being wise, okay? You're choosing yourself and what really makes you happy. Yes, this person made you happy, but I felt like there's more that they need to do to convince you, okay? If you feel like this is the best decision for you, your mental, your heart, your emotional, your soul journey, then do it because it is your happiness that is attached in here, okay? I honestly feel like your person wants you back. Your person would like to work things out. They're their belief, their action on how to get back together, on how to resume love is by spending more time, by talking, you know, by reminiscing. But I guess your is different. I want to rest. When I'm rest, I'm fully, when I'm rest, you know, when you have eight hours of sleep, the next day you have more concentration. I felt like it's more of you will know what you want over the period of time. So your person needs to convince you in a more solid way. Your person needs to show you a solid effort to convince you. And maybe along the way, that's where you can make a decision making. Because you're coming here very strong with a high priestess that you know what you want. And you know what you want when you see it, when you feel it. Okay? So this is quite strong. So good luck to you. I see your person being around what, watching, watching one thing. I'm supposed to say one thing, but maybe they're watching you around. So I see your person. They will be around. They will be watching you. They will be wanting you. Whenever you're free, whenever you feel um, genuine and authentic to yourself, that's where you communicate. That's where you let them in. That's where you catch up. Because your person, they will make themselves available for you 
to catch up, to reminisce, and to make it stronger. For your person, dating you again, spending time talking, um, doing the same thing in the past, it is how they would resume. But I guess you're more kind of um, defensive because you're not sure whether to trust them again again or to give them a second chance for some of you guys okay so follow your soul okay follow your soul and have also a broad you know have an open mind that, that people change okay so you only know when you spend time or you will know it when they're making sincere effort you know that because you're sitting in the high priestess okay guys this is an amazing reading so thank you sagittarius it's been a pleasure doing this reading to you i'll see you soon again guys bye bye